Alright fellow YouTubers, this is Caleb Craig, Deadpool Plays with 2, here to bring a review of the DC Comics supervillain DC Collectibles Harley Quinn. And this is the front of the box, very nice box, shows Harley Quinn. The reason I wanted this one, because it was another one that I kind of wanted too, but this one came with the cool rollerblades, and I really wanted, I've never had a figure with rollerblades. So that's the main reason, she comes with her mallet of course, her signature mallet, and there's the Harley Quinn. This is the front of the box. On this side, you see a nice picture of her with her rollerblades on with a gray mallet instead of a red one. Hmm. Anyway, picture of her. She's holding the gun. Even though in this picture, they could have at least had it where it looks like her finger was holding the gun picture. But it says, sculpted by Dave Cortez. And on this side, it's a nice picture of her in the shadow. I love this. I love the dramatic look that they give those. On the back, you see Poison Ivy and the Joker. And also, there is Harley Quinn at the top. All right, is there anything on the bottom? Anything on the bottom? Anything on the bottom? The barcode. All right, now let's go ahead and open this figure. Okay, and here is Harley Quinn out of packaging. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this figure. As you can see, she does come with the pistol that's in her hand. Here's her handy dandy mallet. And here is her two rollerblades, which I am about to put in. But I would like to say that she does stay here, like standing by herself. It's very easy, didn't take a long time. She knows how to stand there, it's really cool. You know, some of them you have to wait for women. They did an awesome job on this one. You see here, the holes in the bottom are where you would connect the rollerblades, and it's just a really nice figure. If we were to look into it, as you can see, they did a lot of detail. Nothing is bleeding. I do a lot of Marvel Legends reviews, so it's really easy for me to catch on to when a figure is like bleeding or the colors out splash. This one just looks really nice. You see the detail here that they put into the numbers, the little card, symbols right here that came out very very nicely then you keep going up oh, I see something here a little brown stain here something a little brown spot there but past that now it still looks really really good the pale white skin looks very nice it's like they even gave her a little belly button which is kind of different to me all right they gave her the back muscle wow it's kind of cool like I, okay a lot of my ex-girlfriends had that back muscle so I thought that was pretty cool uh, it looks like it has stitching and even there like that's really precise and small it doesn't look that bad at all they did good even though there's a little blotch of brown there it's a really nice figure I love how they did the red and black I love these little card signals that are everywhere her hair is even like two colors and that came out very nicely if we look closely there's a little black spot on her face but it doesn't look that bad but as you can see her eyes aren't cross-eyed the eyes came out good I still have no idea how they get that type of detail in there but that looks very nicely. You see the nice little uh, necklace they have. It can move a little bit, but they have it around her neck of the bells. That's pretty cool. And her belt, a lot of detail in that. Look how nice it looks. Comes with the bullets. Can't take the bullets out. And here, this is actually to hold her gun in. That's really cool. I'm going to put her gun in there soon. And her belt wraps around. Looks very nicely. Has a star on the high knee. Nice legs. Just really good figure. Look at the detail just on the socks. The socks look nice, still have the stars. Where would she find an outfit like this? The puffies on the bottom. She is dressed very, very animated, which you would expect from Harley Quinn. Really nice figure, very great job. Like, I'm seeing DC collectibles really do put a lot of detail into the figure. And even have it where they look like they can interact here. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Or they can be just open and just there, like Harley Quinn would have them. That's pretty cool. I think I like them like this when they look like they're interacting to each other. So that looks very nice. Very nicely done figure. I do feel like this was well worth the money that I paid for it. Because it looks very nice and it's an awesome job on it. Wow. No complaints here. Very nice figure. So let's get into the articulation before I connect the rollerblades. So we can't do anything here with the ankles. They can't twist from side to side. This can bend. Even with the knee pads, it still bends. Can't bend that much. So bends about yay and that's it. So not that much bend, as you can see. She has her thighs are her thighs can go out. How far can they go out? About that far. So thighs can go out that far. They come back in. Other legs the same way. Bends about that far. So what it has in detail, it makes up for without the articulation pretty much. This can bend completely. It goes up about that far. Um, you can't go back and forth though. And I'm not going to take the chance because I don't want to break off her uh, shoulder pads either. Because I really like them. Here we see you can bend on these really cool knee pads. So bend about that far. And this right here, about that far. Arms can twist. 
and no popping of the wrist, but they can twist side to side. So yeah, so can do a 90 degree angle? No. So it goes about that far and then it can't go any further. Still a very nice figure. The actual head, how far can we look up? Can't look up any of the same. Can't really look downy, which makes sense to me because they include this cool little necklace. So it doesn't have that much articulation, but it still is a very nice figure. Crazy old Harley with that look on her face. Here we have the roller blades. I'm assuming it's really this easy. I will push you in here. Yep, really easy. Push in the roller blade, she's on there. Take the other one, stick it into these dark holes. And there she has roller blades on. Now, right here on camera, you'll see, can she still stand with them on? Yes, she can. And this one isn't even completely on the ground. And she's still standing. So that's really awesome. And they actually can move. Like, they're not like statues. You see that? The wheels can actually roll. You can't see that too. It's too black. But yeah, so the wheels can actually roll. I really like that. How awesome is that? That's the whole reason I got it. I love this figure. I'm glad that it can skate. And it looks way taller now. Whoops, sorry. It looks way taller. Bump the table. It looks way taller now that she has those. And this cool little mallet. I love it. I love her weapon. She's the only one I know that like uses it as much as she does. Looks really awesome. I really wish that uh, she had a little bit more articulation. I could have it where it's like behind her head, but it's cool. I like this. I think if I had her, I had to hold it like like so with the rollerblades. Hold it like so and looking at the camera. So she can twist her head. Yeah, I don't know if I said that. She can twist her head. She just can't go up and down. But I don't want to mess up the cool little Jingle Bell necklace she has on. So I'm not going to do that much with it. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so the mallet added a little bit of extra weight. Can we still stand with the rollerblades on? I know we can. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. There we go. Really cool. So I do love it. Very nice figure. Came out very nicely. And this has been my review of the Harley Quinn figure. Any questions before I go? I'll zoom in on the body one more time so you can see it. Look at that. Awesome. Nicely done. Nicely done. Very nice and detailed figure. Everything I would expect from a Harley Quinn figure. But yeah, this has been Caleb Craig's Deadpool Toys 1 2. Hope you enjoyed my review of the DC Collectibles Harley Quinn figure. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Leaving so soon. Alright. Have a good day.